Oh yeah, I was way into Rancid. I bought the Rancid CD because I thought I heard a rumor that the guy was the was uh, the singer of Green Day's brother. Is he? No, yeah, I think no. he's not. But they have the same last name. Yeah. I'm and sorry. I was like 12, and Green Day was my favorite band, so I bought Rancid thinking it was just his brother. And I was like, this is awesome. And then I found out it wasn't his brother, but it was still awesome. Still stayed awesome. Stayed off. How is it touring with your brother? Like, do you guys get in a lot of fights? Or? Uh, we, yeah, we wake up and we fist fight every morning. Okay. Uh, before, Good practice for the show, Sam. Yeah, we roll out of our bunks and we just go at it. It's like a cartoon where there's a cloud and, like, fists are just coming out of it. No, I don't know. People ask me, like, what's it like to tour with your brother? It's like... I don't know what it would be like to not tour with my brother. We've been in a band for 12 years, and I've never been on tour with not my brother. So it's not like I'm like, well, when I'm not on tour, we never did any tours without him. We never left him at home. He's the singer. We kind of need him. So we, I've heard you can still tour without your singer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. If you're, uh, I'm not going to name names, but we've definitely, and we might be on tour with a band right now that just didn't bring their singer. Because he lost his passport. On this, on this show? Yeah. Oh, I think I yeah. uh, know who it is. Yeah. These things happen. So, I, but that never happened to us. We have always been on tour together. We always have passports. We always remember our passport. Oh, the uh, the new dog shit sandwich is out. <laughs> I'm going to go down right now. Currently, this is winning for a funniest band name oh, in this wow. record store. Oh, wow. Is a, is a nice pun, but... Not as good, though. Not as good as dog shit sandwich. Dog shit sandwich is just... They're just cutting right to the chase. They're not even worried about puns. What else is in here? Anything I've actually enjoyed other than Rancid? Lard? Man, in the meanwhile, I have a question, but... Um, yeah. You guys are uh, producing at the moment... Uh, uh, New DVD with, uh, yeah, it's coming out. With Vans. Yeah, it's oh, coming yeah. out in like a week. So we're excited about that. And Vans likes us. So they put, what we did was they didn't really want to call it a sequel to our first DVD. So we kind of wanted to like make it like little episodes. And uh, on Vans.com backslash eat it, I think, you can watch them. And they thought, they thought they were funny. So they put them on their website. And now next week, all the episodes and like two more hours of bonus footage are going to come out with our last CD so like when you buy it you get our last CD even if you don't want it even if you already have it throw it away you throw get it, it. yeah you get it and you get a whole new DVD so that's awesome do you guys want to tell us any like secrets about the DVD maybe what what to like expect well that's the thing is you can't we kind of put like 12 episodes online so there aren't really any secrets it's just it's like a formula that just kind of works we're not really the first one was awesome, and everyone likes the episodes, so it's just more awesome, awesome stuff. More awesome. Just yeah, you can't really horse riding. In horse? Place, uh, yeah, there's yeah, horses. Do. I think yeah. yeah. <laughs> From what I hear in that last episode, I think Keith got that drunk and tried to steal a horse. Was... Yeah, that was in like 08. <clears throat> Keith got really drunk and like tried to ride a horse. What? Um, but that's Guys, just that's you know we, when you tour 300 days a year, you're bound to steal a horse every once in a while. Yeah, but, yeah, what's the funniest story that ever happened to you? The funniest time? thing that has ever happened to us yeah. on, tour. Uh, on tour. Well, this is an easy one. Or the yeah. best prank. Um, uh, let's see. One time, our old drummer, I put, uh, I, uh, I peed in his contact lens case, and then when yeah, he, me. and then when he uh, woke up in the morning, he put him in his eyes and. He had to miss like three shows because he had to go to the hospital and he had to like wear like these stupid eye patches. Old piss eyes. Old That's what piss we called eyes, them. yeah. And we had to get like a, a fill in drummer that was on tour. That was, that was fucked up your own drummer. Yeah, but <laughs> that was, you know, that was. It all worked out. Yeah. We always used to pull pranks on him. We always used to pants him. Remember that prank where you'd pants someone, you'd go yeah. and you'd pull their pants down? We would pull his up, though. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. Yeah. No, he wasn't wearing any. Yeah. They were around his ankles, so we would, <laughs> yeah. would unpants him. We would, would be pants him. Re, we would repants him. Yeah, we would put the... Yeah. Um, it's kind of ironic. And then one cool. time... What happened? Oh, yeah, I threw this brick through this window, and when the cops came, we blamed our drummer, and our drummer got arrested. <laughs> That was cool. Your drummer's having a hard time being well, in the band, isn't he? That's why he quit. Could be why he quit. Yeah. That's why he quit. 
Um, he was just sick of the pranks. And uh, remember that time we lit him on fire? We lit him on fire a couple times when he was sleeping. Uh, Andy had like this like body spray stuff, and for some reason we found out that it was like highly flammable. So while Mike was our old drummer was sleeping, we sprayed him with it, and then we lit him on fire <laughs> while he was sleeping. <laughs> it was awesome. So. Yeah, it's good. So what do you do to obsess fans? <laughs> to to upset fans? Obsess. Oh, I, we hide. We just hide from them. We just hide. No, I can't. We can't win that battle. Our fans are just really awkward. Really, they just don't <laughs> stop. How far has the band Somebody flew from Portugal. Oh, you mean? Oh, I get it. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Thanks. Um, <laughs> Uh, all, should I tell them that all those stories are lies or no? No. Uh, let's see here. Um, all the our drama fans, stories that never happened? A fan, they just, you can't outdo a fan because our fans are very attention crazy. Like they didn't get any as a kid. So when they see you, they want it so bad that if you try to do anything like crazier than them, they'll just, they just won't stop. Like they are just like on 10 at all times, putting their dreadlocks in my mouth and headlocking and they just want to just fucking. Kissing. It. You know, they see those DVDs and they Man. just want to just get drunk and just break shit with us. And it's like, sometimes, you know, you don't want to get drunk and break stuff with complete strangers, oddly enough. Some, you know, maybe not seven days a week. And they don't understand that. They just, they just think that we're there to get drunk and break stuff with them. So, Instead of play a show. So, yeah, we've never really outdone our, our we've never had to do anything. Oh, wait, no, I threw one. That was cool. One time a kid came up to me at a signing and he like, will you stop trying to kiss me? Hi. Yeah. Yeah. So I did like the, okay. I did like the, I did that. That's fine. Oh, you know, no. like in the WWF where you throw a guy against the ring when he comes back, they run down and just throw him yep. over the back. Well, I kind of did that just without the ring and I just threw a kid behind me. And I didn't see it because it was behind me, but I guess he went pretty high and pretty far. And uh, it's one of those things where you're like, wow. It, it was, was really funny. Show. Um, thanks for having us. We'll probably be back. We'll try. We'll probably, every time we leave Germany, we say, do we have to go back there ever? But, although we're saying that right now, we'll probably be back. You should be. We, we will, will be. Bigger, right. bigger and better than ever.